This video is brought to you by WrestlingTournaments.com, making the job of coaches, parents, wrestlers, and spectators easier and more efficient. If you'd like to learn more about it, the link is in the description below. This is the dirtiest sport in the world. And no, not meaning that they're fighting, hair pulling, eye gouging, mainly because, well, they, they wrestle in mud. Now in this video, we are actually gonna go over the Business Insider video they did, which they did a phenomenal job showcasing uh, this sport. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is, of course, reacting over it, but then comparing it back to the USA standards of wrestling, and all in all, how crazy it is that these Indian mud wrestlers literally give their life to mud wrestling. But let's hop in. Fighting in mud training for hours, and going years without seeing family. Dude, there, there's no way if they even shower, they're getting all this mud off. This is Kushti, a traditional form of Indian wrestling. Mauli Jamdade left his rural hometown when he was 15 to join this academy in Kolapur. Today, he lives and trains at the century-old Gangavesh Talim. This sport is a way out of poverty for many farming families. And now, now here's the thing, I'm gonna stop it here so that we can actually decipher why are they leaving the families and what do you mean to escape poverty? Well, as we look into this graphic here, we can see that the average salary um, of current day today in USA is $50,000. And now when you look at India's, you're looking at like $400 a month, which is like $4,800 a year. So just keep that in your mind. In just over a decade, Mali has become one of the top fighters here earning up to $4,000 from one competition. <laughs> that, dude, that'd be insane. Imagine, imagine like college wrestlers, or you really don't get paid unless you're on like the Olympic scene or world scene. Like imagine if you go to a college wrestling tournament and you could win like, you know, $3,000, $5,000 cash reward. That'd be insane. But India has shifted to favor wrestling on the mat over mud. And the tradition that goes back 2,500 years is dwindling. So what does it take to be one of India's mud wrestlers? And how is this traditional sport still standing? Becoming a Kushti fighter is all about discipline. Mauli wakes up at 3.55 a.m. every Bro, day. 3.55? He starts his training sessions at dawn with some of the other 200 wrestlers who live here. See, I think they we, use their own I think we could up early for training if we have like 6.45 runs. This is like different. Different breed. They train six days a week, often under coach Vishwas Hargule. Mali has been working with him since he joined the academy. Vishwas has trained over a thousand kids, and he doesn't go easy on them. So, th so this coach, if you have a coach like in this uh, Kushti or whatever this is called, it's you literally have that coach kind of for life. This dude's coached a thousand kids. Crazy. <laughs> The training's over, pamper them all you want. If you pamper them while training, they don't get distracted. It's probably facts. In the afternoon, they hit the mud pit. Wrestlers warm up by preparing the dirt floor. They clear away stones and smooth it out. So like taping the mats. The dirt is mixed with turmeric, lemon, and salt to help wrestlers' injuries wow. heal faster. It's swapped out every couple of years and sent to smaller tallines. Many see the red soil as sacred, because without it, they wouldn't have a career. Before a match, Mauli warms up his joints with oil and starts planning. Wrestlers cover themselves in dirt at the start of each match to create more friction between their bodies. Oh, that would suck to get on your face. This is just practice, so there's no winner or loser. But Mauli still gives it his all. Palawanu ka aisa hai ki wo uski manzil kabi puri nahi hui. 
The goal is to pin the opponent's shoulders to the soil. That's, that's nice. They use moves similar to other forms of wrestling, like locks and throws. Maoli and his opponent reapply the soil as they sweat to get a better grip. With their feet planted in the dirt, wrestlers move slowly. That was nice. A real match can last as long as one hour. A one hour wrestling match. You know, that's actually pretty much the longest time for a the full wrestling who's number one match between Fix and Suriano. That lasted a whole hour. By the end, they're soaked in mud. Maoli isn't done for the day when the practice match is over. Mud wrestling has roots that date back to at least the 5th century BC. It evolved out of an ancient form of Indian wrestling, mixed with Persian martial arts. The sport thrived in Kolhapur at the turn of the 20th century. The district's ruler, Shahu Maharaj, was a fan of the art and built talims all over the region, including that man this is one. Now like a wrestler. But mud fighting saw a shift about 15 years ago, when India started prioritizing mat wrestling. The government wanted its athletes to compete internationally, so many talims had to adapt and started investing in mats, including this one. But here they still practice in the traditional mud pits, because they believe nice. it makes nice them better wrestlers on the mat, too. I, I, there's no way. Wrestling on the mat will always make you better now. not doing different, like mud wrestling. Maybe I'm wrong. Dude, this looks like, just like in the middle of the woods. Like they got just this arena and they just bring people from all over. Looks like something from the Gladiator. Mud wrestling competitions, called dangals, still draw crowds in Kolhapur and they always open with a ceremony, playing traditional Indian horns and drums. The cash prizes for this tournament depend on how much money the Dangal organizers were able to raise from local fans. Young wrestlers take home just a small part of the pool, sometimes around a dollar per win. But older, more experienced fighters can walk away with up to a thousand dollars. That's why low-income families often send their kids to live at Talim's hoping they'll get good enough to make a living. So pretty much, even if you're a kid, you're a professional wrestler. Fighters also live and train wrestler. for free. But there's little comfort. Most of them sleep in shared dorms that can fit up to 50 people at a time. And with packed schedules every day, they rarely get the chance to visit home. Maoli has gone up to four years without seeing his family. That's commitment. <laughs> But the wrestlers find family in each other. Maui's dedication has paid off. He says he earns up to $55,000 in a oh, four-month season. That's some serious dough. Four months for 55 grand? For mud wrestling? And if, if you think about it, I'm sure he's not doing like sponsorships or things like that. Like I'm pretty sure that's all just like based on his winnings of tournaments or matches. It would take a typical farming family over 35 years to make that much. <sighs> that's, see that, that's actually like winning the lottery. Like in different countries, by being good in your sport, like of course, yes, in America, it can get you a scholarship, get you to college. You know, like the basic family, the basic person going off to college has a lot more money than let's say someone in India, like that farming family who would take 35 years to make the same amount of money that this wrestler does in a four month period. That's absurd. Getting to that level takes a lot of time and practice, which is why kids start young. Yeah, wrestling is like that some of the youngest are here for just the summer, so the Talim is especially crowded this time of year. But during the height of the pandemic, it looked completely different. 
wrestlers couldn't make any money for two years when competition stopped. Wrestlers are responsible for their own food and expenses. And those costs can add up, especially with the diets they have to maintain. Even as a young kid paying for your food? The body will support the body. Most days they eat chicken, lamb and eggs. But today is Saturday, so they're making vegetarian dal. Mauli is now a veteran at this talim, mentoring the younger wrestlers. But he still remembers his first day here. There was a lot of competition. 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 I was able to make a lot of competition. Now, he's treated like a celebrity. That's cool. Mauli hopes to keep wrestling for another decade. And he believes the ancient tradition of Kushti isn't going anywhere. That's, that's super cool. I mean, like that like humbles you for sure. To know that some people go out there and leave their families in order to provide based on their sport performance. Just like growing up at such a young age and having to, it seems like, you know, to provide for like your whole bloodline. Definitely super interesting. I hope you guys did learn something uh, from this video. I'll link the original video in the description from Business Insider. Before the video ends, I want to give a shout out to the patrons over on the Patreon for supporting me there, getting exclusive benefits. If you guys did enjoy the video, I would love if you guys would suplex that like button and then subscribe to see more content like this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next video.